Alright, here, yikes, you take this. Okay, so all you guys probably remember this thing from the past. Well, we got some 1850s and we've been building battery packs. But driving around New York, I'm kind of wondering how far can we actually go on some 1850s? Well, we should probably go back to Ohio and build some battery packs. Here we go. Hey Sam, check it out. Look at my trailer. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. Look at all those batteries. Oh my god. I'm kind of like nervous plugging them all in, but hey, I guess it didn't catch on fire and none of them got warm. Here, you take the camera. All right, uh, so that's pretty sweet. I think we're gonna go test now. Let me, let me turn on the lights. It looks pretty cool. You gotta see this. Where's the battery? Okay, yeah. let's try this again. There we go. Uh, now we have lights. So there, check it out. It's done. Okay, uh, well, it's a trailer. I don't know what more to tell you. Oh, we got a multimeter here. So basically, the thing is, we got these 1850s. I wanted to play around, like, put 100 of them in here. Actually, I think we're minus 2. Yeah, we're, we're minus 2. There's 98. So, 99, 100. Are you sure it's not minus 3? 100? No, it should be. Why would it be minus 3? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, it's minus 4. Oh, yeah, 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 because I have those. So we have four. Basically, we have these agencies for the holders that you can either put in series or parallel. What I did is I basically put them all in series. So they're on series, and there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight and eight. So what's eight times? Why am I getting stupid addition? I know this. It's 32 times three. What's 32 times three? That's 96, right? Right. Okay, so there's 96, so we're basically missing four. So basically the goal is to see how far we go on 96 batteries. I'll just say it's 100 because it sounds cool. So 96, 18650s, I think these are all, how many milliamps are these, Sam, typically? 34-ish. 34. 3400. Okay, so do some quick maths right here. And how far do you think this will go? Uh, 50 to 100 miles depending on how conservative we are on the throttle. You know, that's pretty broad. Can you give me a little more, a better number than that? Uh, with how we're going to go, probably about 60. 60 miles? I think it can do probably 80. So well, I'll drive faster to get that number down. <laughs> I don't want to sit on this for 80 miles. 
All right, let's go to the bike path and then just take these things out for a ride. Let, let's see who's right at the end of all of this. If we go full speed, we might knock it down to like 20 mile. I'm gonna try to drive it conservatively. We may not even get all that way. We may just drive to like a, a good number and we'll just do the, the theoretical maths because I'm not sitting this for like 100 miles, it's stupid. Okay, let's uh... Okay, we have driven 5.2 miles, and we have currently consumed, what is this, uh, focus, stupid, 9.8, or 98 watt hours, or, what is that, 6.204 amp hours. So how, how, can you math that in your head, or should we just go back to the shop? Uh, it's a lot, yeah. Let's go back to the shop. Uh, Holy crap, this thing is dirty. We'd probably go further, but it's raining and it's nasty. I wanna go home. We gotta go car wash first. Oh yeah, let's go to the car wash. Oh, it's the RV, not me. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh no, it's not working. And we're back. Okay, um, yeah, it's time to do some math. Sam, you do the honors. Get over okay. here. Give me the camera. All right, All right. I think you need a piece of paper right now. Um, that. Okay, so we so, use 98 watt hours, right? Okay. And we went 5.3 uh, miles. It's, I know we said 5.2, but we actually checked the GPS for the actual distance of the path, and that's 5.3. So five hundred three miles, and so we had. I'm I lost. thought they were three point four amp hour batteries, but yeah. apparently they were two point six amp hours. Yeah. The cells were a lot worse than we thought they were. And we'll say they are three point seven volt as an average. I need a calculator. Here you go. Okay. Two point six. So each battery is about 9.6 watt hour batteries and you had 96 of those. Okay. That's about 9.23 and a half. Okay. And then you take your 90 eight watt hours 
over 923.5, you get that. Do math, come on. Point ten oh six, which is about ten percent. And what's ten percent for? Uh, how much of the battery you used? Oh, oh okay. And if that took five point three miles, it means one hundred percent would be fifty three miles. That's pretty far off the dot. I thought we were getting a hundred. Hey, I was I was pretty spot on on that. I think you were. I think you yeah. were thinking that right. Uh, okay. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's just a giant trailer that we gotta build to cool these batteries. Well then, uh, I suppose we should just wrap this up because I'm not sure what else to do with this video here. You did the camera. But, yeah. look at this. If you had actually had yep. the 3.4 amp hour batteries, uh -huh. How would that change the you would be able to get closer to maybe around 70 miles. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's not bad. 75. So, uh, we actually did get these batteries for free. This is from, uh, what was the company, Sam? Battery Hookup. Yeah, Battery Hookups. They actually uh, get refurbished cells that are still good in quality. So they gave us these. These just happen to be a little bit lower on the milliamp count, but hey, they were free. I'll take free any day of the week. So they're not bad. They all still work. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, we also installed in this board, if you notice in some of the shots, this thing actually starts from zero speed now. Because uh, Oscar... He hooked us up with these uh, O drives. They're they're really really super accurate brushless motor controllers. Basically, you can use like a Hall effect sensor, an encoder, or some other sense of that to actually get really really high position. These uh, brushless motors are from Hobby King, but they're actually designed for skateboards because they have Hall effect sensors in them, so you can actually start from a zero start. In the older video, if you've seen me, we had to like jump and push this thing to get it going. Yeah. If you film, my video would be so much better. Oh. Because uh, it would, the issue would, would rely on a feedback from the motor turning to get going. So if you were standing on a normal skateboard, it wouldn't work. But with these new controllers, we can actually start from a standstill and go, which is pretty cool. And braking is actually really nice too. Um, yeah, thanks to Hobby King. Yeah, they sent some motors too. So yeah, we mentioned those, the SK8 Skate, skate Series motors. So I think that's roughly about it. If you guys are interested in anything in the video, check the links down in the description. Is that it, Sam? I think that's it. That should be it. Okay, yeah, that was fun. I mean, the trailer was interesting. I really just want an excuse to make a cool little model trailer to put stuff in. So maybe if we uh, get a thousand of these, maybe we'll just repeat the experiment again. But I don't want to ride the board oh, for a man. thousand miles. Mine already ran out of batteries. I'd have to build a trailer now too. Yep, that's no fun. But anyways, uh, let us know what you uh, what you want to see us do in the comments. Um, this is just a fun short video. We'll be back to the normal stuff next week. And that's a wrap.